everybody, how's it going? So today, as you can read by the title, I'm going to go see the tribute artist Sean Clush and Cody Ray Slaughter in Champaign, Illinois. Uh, it's going to be fun. Uh, it's kind of a last minute thing that I was doing. Um, last night I saw uh, somebody who I follow named Thea, who is a singer. Uh, she said she was on her way to Illinois for some uh, Elvis work, uh, you know, for uh, to play Elvis music in Illinois. And so I asked her, you know, where are you playing? She said, Champagne. And I said, well, sweet, you know, that's an hour from where I live. So, <clears throat> excuse me, we're going to go and see if we can get in and uh, we're going to see the show. And then after, after the fact, I'm going to come back here and we're going to talk about it and see what I think, because I don't see a lot of tribute artists these days. Uh, I've seen Sean Clush once, but it was uh, some years ago. Uh, so we're going to see what I think and... Uh, yeah, we're going to enjoy the show. Have a good night. So, let's go to the show, yo.
We saw the show. Uh, I had a great time. Uh, so let's talk about it. So I get it there uh, to Champagne, literally just an hour away from where I live. And um, getting there, I get a ticket. Uh, the show was there. It wasn't completely sold out, but it, there was there was a good crowd. It was a great turnout. And um, so they sat me. It was just me. I, I went alone. And so they sat me uh, next to this lady. And uh, so we get to talking and everything. And so, you know. A uh, nice lady got to talking about stuff, um, and we started talking about, you know, of course, Elvis, and I asked her, you know, did you ever get to see Elvis? And she said, yeah, I saw him in Fort Wayne, and she couldn't remember the year, so it was either 1972 or 76. Uh, more on that in a second. Um, but anyway, we get there, as you can see from the footage, a gorgeous, gorgeous theater, the Virginia Theater. I've uh, never been there before. They actually host a um, uh, film festival. Uh, Roger Ebert Film Festival, and uh, I guess Roger Ebert used to go there, and there's a, uh, uh, a statue of him outside of the uh, theater. Uh, but yeah, gorgeous, gorgeous theater. Never been there before. I was happy to get to go there, uh, and I'd hope to get to go there again. It's a really nice place. So we get to the theater, get to my seat, and there's somebody playing an organ. They got, you know, as you can see, they had a, the, you know... I don't know how organs work. They had organ material for organ stuff. But anyway, so that was cool. Something interesting to go with the theater. So after the organ player was done, the show started. And the first person to come out, of course, was Cody Ray Slaughter doing the uh, 50 show. Uh, and he was great. His vocals are great. Uh, moves are great. Uh, I've never seen him before, so I enjoyed my first Cody Ray Slaughter experience. Um... So that was great. He also sang a couple Christmas songs, which, uh, you know, it's the season, so uh, it just seems appropriate. And then after he was done the 50s stuff, he went to leave the stage to go get in the black leather outfit because he was going to do the 68. And they had the two backup singers sing, uh, which is Thea, like that I uh, mentioned before, and you saw in the video, uh, Thea Danos, and she uh, was great. And then her mom, who I didn't realize was her mom until after the show, because I don't know him super duper well, um... But she sang uh, Great Balls of Fire, and she was great as well. So Thea's mom, and her name's Donna, um, was there. I didn't get any footage of her, though. I didn't realize it was Thea's mom. Uh, and then Cody came out, did 68 stuff, did some other stuff like Kentucky Rain. Um, what else did he do? Um, You've Lost That Love and Feeling. Stuff like that. And, um, and then, of course, the 68 material. So... Um, he did a great job on that, and that was the end of Cody's performance. So then after that, they took a little intermission. Um, I went to go pump some more quarters into my parking spot, and then um, and then it was time for Sean Clutch, and then Sean Clutch comes out, and he comes out from the back, as you can see. He comes right by me, um, right next to me, and he comes up, and he does his thing. And, you know, when Elvis comes up on stage in the 70s, he puts his guitar on for the first song or two, and, um, you know, that's that's how he would do it every night. But Sean, when he put his guitar on, which I didn't, I didn't catch it right at that moment on on video, but he put the guitar on and I, the snap, uh, the strap came off, and um, so he handed off the guitar to his manager, and um, uh, so the what, what what I think is kind of funny is the lady I was sitting next to said she was saw him in Fort Wayne, so what happened in Fort Wayne in 1972, which may be the show she saw, I can't confirm. She couldn't remember the date. Um, Elvis comes out there, he goes to put on the guitar, and the strap comes off. 
And so he hands it back to Charlie and he just does a song without the guitar. So, you know, and let me, here, I'll actually show you the clip of that happening. <laughs> Coincidence? I don't. I think maybe she causes it. I, some witchcraft or something. I don't know. But anyway, I thought that was kind of funny. Um, but then he goes around. He does some good songs. Some songs that Elvis never did live, like um, "Always on My Mind." He did a um, a Christmas song, and oh, I forgot to look it up. I can't remember the name, but it was from the '71 album, and I thought it was really cool. He did it because it wasn't, you know, it wasn't like the Christmas uh, song you would expect him to do. Uh, but then he also did Blue Christmas. Uh, but yeah, he did a great job. Great show. What I really like about him is you kind of glance at him and you you have to double take. You're like, well, did I just see Elvis? You know, it was crazy. So yeah, the show was great. They did good. After the show, I went and said hello to Thea and her mom. And Thea introduced me to Sean. He kind of peeked out at the end of the show. There wasn't a meet and greet, but he kind of peeked out at the end of the show. And so I got to meet him briefly. He was very nice. And yeah, uh, it was a great show. And, you know, I know, you know, there's half of the people like tribute artists, half the other people don't like tribute artists. If you are interested in seeing a tribute artist, I would recommend seeing these two tribute artists go and see a show. There's going to be a birthday tour coming up um, in January, of course. And um, I look forward to seeing them again. They'll be around in my neck of the woods again. So I will be seeing them again. So, yeah, 10 out of 10. Pretty decent show enjoyed it uh i recommend it and go ahead and check out these guys on instagram and facebook uh, i've got links to their social media stuff in the description below as well as my instagram and facebook links are in the description as well but anyway guys hope you enjoyed the video this week uh, if you enjoyed the video make sure you give it the thumbs up and if you have not subscribed already go ahead and hit that subscribe button and share it somewhere so someone else can see and until next time, be good to yourselves, and we will see you next time, y'all.